Hello everyone, welcome to the 13th video to beginner's guide on how to Revit. In this video, we will learn how to do finishes within Revit. So again, go to Creative by clicking this button right here, turn off shadows by clicking here, next the visual style to fine and to realistic. So in the previous video, I said that it's a good practice to make different flooring per room, right? So let's go ahead and do that here. Open the ground floor, window tile, there so we can split what we see. Next, we duplicate an existing floor or create similar first. Let's make a small sketch here. Edit type, duplicate, we'll name this architecture or arc and this one to common. Now, the thickness should be 50 mm, that should be good enough. Of course, we're gonna change the thickness here and the material. In the previous lesson, I was explaining about identity and graphics. Now, we will be using appearance. Now here, let's look for some generic one. Let's use oak, okay? Now, here in the image, this is what it's gonna look like in Revit once we go into real steel. Also, if we go back to graphics, there's an option here user render appearance. If you click this one, this color will automatically match the color of this wood right here. I'll explain that later on. For now, let's click OK, OK, apply, and OK. Then here, look at the warning sign, highlighted floors overlap. The reason for that is, if you look at this right here, it means that the floor is inside the structural slab. So the reason for that is our level here, we're using the same level, it should be above the structural flooring. So let's increase this to the same thickness here, which is 50. This should remove the warning sign. There, as you see, there's our floor. So now let's fix that. Double click it here in the ground floor pan, then remove this one. And just keep picking the floors. So once done picking, this is how it would look like, but I see something wrong here. Oops. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right, there we go. Now press OK. There's our wood. Now something I forgot in the previous lesson. Here in the wall, if you click that and click edit profile, you can actually change what it looks like or sketch. So let's do that. To be easier, we will do that in section. Let's make one here. Reduce the view range. Right click your section, go to view. Let's change our visual style so we can see it clearly. Click the wall here, go back to the section and edit profile. Now let's do some sketch. 600 mm from the wall, rather from the nearest wall should be a good distance. Next up, the height from finished floor to here, 2000 should be good. Ignore this one, 2000. So let's align this and keep tabbing doesn't work no worries let's use this one and drag this here okay seems a bit weird nah it's all right now if you press okay ah we forgot to split this one here okay let's do this quickly There we go. Next up, let's do the bathroom area tiling. So let's close this one. We don't need this anymore. Let's delete this. All right, let's do the tiling here. Click our common area flooring, create similar. Let's make a square here. Cancel, then edit type, duplicate, bathroom. 
let's make a new material for that so we can use this oak flooring and duplicate selected material now once you duplicate always make sure to click this so we can duplicate the asset now let's look for a good image for this one so if you click here it will send you to the materials area of Revit but if it doesn't here is the what do you call this here's the link so go ahead and pause it and look for it yourself otherwise let's continue so let's minimize this let's look for a good floor if your view is different it's using a list or a detail you can actually click here and click thumbnails and you can also press or hold CTRL and zoom in so that the image will become bigger so let's look at this one by one and look for a good tile what should be a good flooring for our bat this one right here we can use this so open look at that now like what i said before in graphics if i use render appearance this color will match the color of this so let's try that use render there see that it automatically copies it now Let's change the name of this, right click, rename. Let's call this bathroom tiling. Now, we need to change the surface pattern foreground into a model pattern since we're using tiling. So go ahead and go to model. We can make our own or if there's something ready for us, I think this is good enough. So, okay, apply for cut. It's all right, we can ignore that. We're not going to see it anyway. Okay, okay, apply, okay. Now press okay here. Highlight it overlap again. It's because we failed to put a height offset. So let's make it 50. Now there's our bathroom tiling. All right, next up will be the finish for our wall. We will add some plaster outside and some paint as well. Let's use this one. We will be doing the same as we did with the floor. Always duplicate. Let's add paint to this one. Now, what should be a good color? Let's just duplicate this, duplicate select material. Now, let's look, oop, we forgot to duplicate the asset. There we go. Now, let's look for a good paint for the outside walls. Something plain and good should be simple for us. We can use this one. Again, graphics and use the render appearance. Then press OK, no, let's remove this one. Let's use something simple. Let's make it none. Apply. Okay. Oops, we forgot to use it. No, it's all right. Okay, it's this one here. Let's look at it in 3D. Let's make this realistic. Now, let's align it to our walls. So, Let's make a crate similar. Let's make a square all around it. Except this part right here. Right, then we trim this area and we start aligning to the walls. Let's keep trimming the other sides. Make sure you're picking the proper side of the wall so it will not clash with our brick. You can delete this one. I think it's good now. All right. Ah, we forgot to do this one here. So click this one. Again, create similar. Use the square one and we align
let's do some wallpaper for our interior next going back to ground floor let's use the same one here very similar we go to edit type and duplicate this one let's make this interior go to edit structure same thickness let's rename this one we forgot to do last time so steeler paint now let's duplicate this one and duplicate the asset let's go ahead and name this interior there now again okay, let's go to the materials folder finches should be a good one here what we need is a wallpaper lookalike. Hmm. This looks good. All right, let's use this one. Now, click OK. And OK here as well. Apply. And OK. Now, let's look at it 3D. There's what it looks like. So let's attach it to our interior walls let's make a square here I believe we can use the pick line as well so that we can see what happens in real time whoops this is why we always click this look what I did I accidentally dragged the floor out of its proper place Next up is this area here. As usual, keep aligning. Make sure you pick the proper side of the wall. done since this is too thin we gotta zoom in all the time now we trim oh we forgot this part here Okay, what else? And I guess that's done. We forgot this part here. And what do we do? We also do an edit boundary. Let's do it here in 3D. Edit profile. Click the pick line and we can pick the wall here easily now we trim this part okay let's do the same for the other side done so next up is 
some wall tiles for our bathroom area. So let's click this one, create similar. Let's do a square here. Let's select all of this, go to edit, and let's duplicate it once more. Bathroom tiling. As usual, we duplicate this and the asset, but let's rename it first. All right. Go to appearance, duplicate the asset. Let's go back here. I think we already found a good wall tile. Let's use this one. I think this one's better, so it looks a little bit lighter. Open, appearance, use a render appearance for the same color. Apply, okay, and okay here as well. There it is. So next up, we align it as usual. So let's align it to the walls. And that's it. We're done with the finish, but let's add a little bit more flair to our model. Let's do some skirting area right around here. How do we do that? Let's go back to wall. Here, wall sweep. Let's click horizontal. Now let's apply here. Let's go back to ground floor. Let's do some section so we can see it clearly. Drag it here. It's this one over here. So let's decrease it like this. All right, there. Now next up, we gotta adjust some profile. And how do we do that? We're gonna click file, then new but click this arrow right here, family, go to English folder, look for metric profile, this one, open. Now here, we will be drawing our profile for the wall skirting. How? Click a line, let's start from this area, let's make it 50 centimeters, sorry, five centimeters, then what, how do we do this? Let's make a line here. All right, this should be a good example. Let's see how it's going to look like. Let's move it back here in the corner. Let's go to save, save as. Let's put it in the desktop for now and save. Hold up, why is it not saving again? Save. All right, then load into project. This one. Then click the skirting that we just placed earlier. Go to edit type. This one, construction profile default. Look for family tree, which is the name of the profile that we just did. Okay. Uh, let's go to section. Nope, this one. Okay, something simple. Let's drag this down to ground level. Let's make it, let's add some more, maybe, let's add 10 more centimeters. So again, we will be going back to our reference level here. It's this one. Let's drag this 10 centimeters or 100 mm. And let's add our design, something very simple like this. We trim this part here and delete this. Now, load into project, overwrite. All right, now it's looking good. Let's add some material to it as well. Click this one, go to edit type. This one here, let's use the same oak flooring material that we just used. This one, apply and okay. Now look at that, it matches the floor. Now let's add this to the other walls. Click this one, add remove walls. Let's pick here, oops, again. I'll just keep picking. Don't worry about that visual bug that we're seeing.
what else here look how it automatically ignores the boundary that we set on it here as well Now I think we're done. We're not missing anything anymore. Okay, so next up, one more awesome tip before we end this video. We can actually do that in a slightly faster way. So we got this arch entryway, for example. Let's do it here. Go to architectural component model in place. Let's name it generic model for now, which is this one. That should be good enough. Now, go to Sweep, pick Path, pick 3D Edges. This only works in 3D, which is this window right here. Now, let's click this part and this part, as well as here. Now, go to Front, click here and let's increase this a little bit. It was 10 cm, was it? So, let's do the same here. Okay. Now, go to top. Here is the reference plane or drawing area, which is equivalent to this one. As you see here, now we can close this. No need to, to save that. Now, just press OK. Select profile, edit. Now we can actually sketch here. Let's do something very simple. Let's click OK on this one. And there it is. Cool, right? Now, here, maybe we doesn't properly go, but let's ignore that for now. Let's use oak flooring as well. Press OK. If I think we can join this. Nice. Yes, we can. Now, we got to fix this part right here. Let's use the section that we had earlier. Let's move it here, rotate 90 degrees, increase the range, go to view, so this one right here, now edit in place, click this, edit sweep, pick path, this one, let's bring it back to the ground level. Okay, and okay once more. I guess it's already properly joined. Let's see the other side. Hmm, something's wrong here. Now let's go back to this one. Edit in place. Finish mod. Nope. Click this one. Edit sweep. Edit profile. Go back to the top. Ah, there's the problem right here. Select this, move it here. Should be the same. Okay, I think we're done. Let's just join it once more. Nope, no need. Everything's properly joined. So I guess that's it. We're done for this video. As we go on from here, everything will become much more difficult. So, for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.